All right, so my little Grom here doesn't want to idle. So my first step, I'm gonna check the spark plug. There's one. All right, so our book says that our spark plug gap should be between 32, 31 thousandths and 35 thousandths. So let's check it. All right, so here's our spark plug right here, spark plug wire, let's pull this guy off. There's our spark plug. Get that guy out of there. There's our spark plug. It's looking a little black and sooty in there. <laughs> All right, so let's see what our, our gap is on this. This is kind of awesome. All right, I'm really hoping this is, I'm happy because I, I'm hoping this is the problem because look at the gap on this. There's almost no gap on this spark plug at all. Like, check that out. All right, so we get our little feelers out and we've got them set. I've got a couple here, not that one. So we got 32 thousandths and 35 thousandths there. Let's see, we are not even close on that. So we gotta open this guy up a bit. All right, so let's open this gap up. Let's see if we're in the ballpark. All right, there we are. All right, so it's about 32 thousandths right there. 35, we're in that ballpark. Let's put this back in as is and see if that makes all the difference. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it does. All right, spark plug is back in. This gets torqued down to 144 inch pounds or 12 foot pounds is what that is. Just right there, that's almost nothing. It doesn't be, I mean, 12 foot pounds is not much. Put our ignition coil back on here or our spark plug wire back on. Hook this guy back up. Let's fire it up and see, see if we've worked some magic today. Oh my God. It idles, yes. 